Uh, ten vehicles have been gutted after a bushfire spread due to heavy winds in Otonga at the north coast of Durban. According to Reaction Unit South Africa or RUSA, the vehicles were parked on Gopalal uh, Herbins Road and belonged to customers of an airport uh, parking service business. Three other cars were also damaged by the heat. Emergency personnel, traffic as well as SAPS members rushed to the scene to assist. The road where the incident occurred has since been uh, reopened to traffic. Well, there are many uh, runaway fires currently raging on in Richards Bay. And for the latest, we are joined on the line by Umtlatu's local municipality mayor, Mr. Kolani Ngweze. Mr. Mayor, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Any idea of what uh, the cause of the fires is? Thank you very much, uh, my sister, and greetings to all the viewers of uh, the SIPC. At this moment, we are unaware of what was the cause of fire, safe to say that investigations are underway and there have been no reports of loss of lives or burning of the properties except for the company where the fire started, which is MCT, uh, next to Fosco in Richards Bay. Our teams were dispatched on the scene in almost at least uh, 30 minutes to an hour. About 60 teams had been dispatched. And I want to thank our councillors there, Councillor Devet and Councillor Porter, for having activated uh, with the city all the structures on the ground, you know, your private companies, which were able to assist us in trying to contain the fire from getting into residences. Our residential areas are safe at the moment, and the only risk area we can point out is the area where the, the fire started, but our teams are vigilant on the ground. And I want to urge all the uh, citizens to be vigilant as they travel along that road, John Ross Road or Highway, and also in the residential areas to make sure that we all contribute in the saving of the lives of the people of the city. Mm. Mr. May, is the city ready and well equipped to deal with such uh, fires in the future? Of course, let me, let me be frank and tell the truth. You know, you remember I, got, I, become, I became the mayor in 2021, mm -hmm. and I could realize that... Uh, with the size of the economy which we have, the buildings, properties, and, uh, you know, we are really not up to standard, but we are trying to pick up, like, last financial year we had budget for the new fire engines, and also in this financial year, to make sure that we prepare ourselves for these kinds of disasters, you know. Uh, I don't know, I will not comment about what went wrong in the past. I can only comment about the plans which we are putting as the city going forward because we are a growing city in terms of the economy. Actually, the second largest economy in the province of KwaZulu Natal. Therefore, we must be able to respond on any kind of disaster in the province. So. We will be, we are, we are getting there as the city, and we want to thank the industries, you know, the community of Richard's Bay for being vigilant, you know, when anything happens that threatens their lives, they report to us. I think uh, together we are really going to defeat these, uh, you know, threatening situations. Mm. Mr. Ngoz, in closing, look, uh, you spoke earlier on about uh, the, the, the ongoing investigation. How soon can we expect uh, the results from that, sir? Well, I, I can't say uh, uh, after how many hours from now, mm -hmm. but let me say that as soon as possible, you will get the update probably later tomorrow, once our fire and rescue teams have been able to access the area together with the company itself because 
here we are not talking about a vacant land. We are talking about an area which a company owns or rather has a lease to operate. So anything we can do as a city must uh, be done in conjunction with the company itself. The company itself has got uh, their own people who does safety issues and so on and so forth. All right. So it. we yes, need sir. to work together, you know. Yes, so go as ahead. soon as information is available, we'll be able to update the public uh, and the media. All right, Mr. Mayor, thank you so much uh, for uh, joining us and for that update. That was uh, Umklatu, the local municipality mayor.